Over the years, new age whiskies have been some of the best in the world and today, Indian single malls have a special place at the top. The Paul John single malls have proved their worth with over 200 acclaimed awards in just six years. Today, we would like to share our story with you. It all begins with the six row barley, sourced from across the vast lands of Rajasthan to the foothills of Himalayas. Our whisky owes much of its distinctive characteristic to this husky barley which is soaked in water for germination. Later the grain is carefully dried in the kiln to halt the germination. Peat can be added to the kiln for this special smokiness. Now the barley is called malted barley which is then ground to fine paste. Naturally sourced hot water is added to the grist, converting the starch in the grain to sugars. This sweet liquid is called wort. Once the wort cools, yeast is added and the fermentation begins. The yeast converts the sugars in the wort to alcohol and thus the wash is made. The wash then goes into the wash still to be heated. The vapor that arises feeds through the line arm into the condenser and the resulting liquid called low wines are then distilled once more in the spirit still. The liquid that finally results is a run through a spirit safe and is called new make spirit. Our pot stills are exclusively designed with long copper swan necks and line arms that ensure the contact of the spirit with the copper is prolonged for richer, elegant flavors. The new make spirit is then matured for a minimum of three years in oak casks, usually American oak, till ready to be bottled and savored. Created by the sunny coast of Goa, Paul John single malts are unique in character with intense flavors, delectable aromas and the tropical ambience of Goa adding to its richness. Paul John single malts have three flagship expressions, two select casks and an occasional limited edition. We believe we have been able to capture the diverse vibrancies of India in our single malts. Discover Paul John single malts and experience the true spirit of India.